All right, Shalom. This is Power of Thumb back with another lesson through the Spirit. And in this lesson, I want to get into Hebrews, the 12th chapter, the first and the second verse. All right. So, Lord, willing this to be a quick hitter and highly edifying to the believers. Before I begin, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Chachwadash. That's whom the world in we call God through the name of His Son. In the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ and through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that continue to rule well and teach us this gospel through the Spirit. And shalom on to the Akim that's fighting and laboring around the four corners of the earth to bring out this truth in faith and in sincerity. All right, shalom on. So this is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So this is Paul, okay, the Apostle Paul, writing a letter unto the Hebrew Israelites, okay? And the most I have set up the prophets in these days to go into the 12 tribes of Israel. In the in the other and also we are prophet unto the other nations. But in this topic, I will be talking about the Hebrew Israelites, the brothers and sisters that know and that have the knowledge of their true nationality. Okay? And when Paul was writing these letters, that's what he was talking about. The brothers that grew up in the law and that was keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments. Those of the circumcision or the Jews. Okay. So, Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. So, we are unto this very day compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. You got many brothers, all right, starting with the brothers and the sisters that believe in his word, okay? And that have the knowledge or in the, the mindset of the way of the Most High, okay? Compared to the whole nation of Israel, it's very few, but we are compassed about with great cloud of witnesses, okay? Let us lay aside every weight. So let us lay aside every weight, every mental weight, okay, that we are dealing with in our personal lives, okay? Every spiritual hindrance, let us lay it aside, okay? That brings me to a quick precept. This is... First Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Okay? Casting or laying, laying on all your cares upon him. Who is the him? Yahweh shot. Because he cared for Salaki. Who is Yahweh Shah? Casting all your care upon him, all your mental, okay, hindrances, all your mental problems. You cast it upon him by care of uh, praying, for he careth for you. Alright. So let's get a quick uh precept. Let's see. See, I didn't have this one pulled up, but let's see. What does it say? Yeah, this is John 16 and 33. It says, These things have I spoken unto you. This is Yahweh Shah, that in me ye might have peace. So these words in these scriptures, 
because Yahweh shall come in, in the volume of the book or for our mental peace, okay? The scripture says that Yahweh shall gave us the truth and the truth shall make us free, okay? Quick precept. Make free. This is John 8 and 32. And ye shall know the truth of these scriptures. And the truth shall make you free. Free free from the, the cares of the world. Okay. Free from the darkness that's in the world. The lies. Okay. That's blinding two thirds of our people. So let's go back. Um, John 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you. That in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. So we're going to catch physical hell. And we're going to catch mental hell. And in these times. The physical hell is not as burdensome. Or of a weight as the mental hell is, okay? Because we that's in the know, we know we deal with spirits and cheat and, uh, and demons in high places, okay? And principalities. So all these are working against us, okay? These spirits, these demons, they are our adversaries, okay? To pull us away from. These scriptures from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So I the end at the end of the day our mental state should be good cheer. Because our Lord Yahweh Shah has gotten the victory. He has overcome the world. Okay? And everything that we're going through, he's overcame it. And through faith in him, we have the we we have the victory too. And we're gonna be joint heirs with him. Okay. Let's see. I believe I had a precept in here that I want to get. Yep, this this is a good one right here. This first this first Samuel 1 and 10 and she is Samuel's mother okay and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto Yahweh and wept sore okay so when we're in the bitterness of our soul we need to pray to the most high okay we whatever we're dealing with we have we go through many different scenarios okay job women Okay, finances, your household, okay? Demons messing with your mind, putting thoughts in your brain, okay? Yourself holding you back, okay, from your full potential. Weep sore and pray to the most high. You see? Yeah, this is Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thou burden, okay, those weights upon Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. All right? And if you're a part of the elect, you won't be moved to the left hand or to the right. Okay? You won't go off back into the world. If the Most High chosen you to be one of the elect, the scripture said we have to put a Put on as the elect, so we have to we have to cast these weights that we deal with in this world upon Yahweh, because He's the only He's our strength, He's our help. Okay, we can't do it on our power alone, and truthfully, we have no power. 
all right? But our power, we have no power alone. Our power is in our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Look at the prophets of old. Daniel, okay? The Shad Shadrach, uh, Abednego, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, okay? That's their Babylonian names. Look what happened to them, man. If we stand for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, nothing can come against us, okay? So, as the scripture says, put off the weights of the world. This is uh, Romans 12 and 2. It says, I start at 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, okay? So, every day, okay, when we wake up to when we go to sleep every day, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice by giving our ways unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, by putting off our own selfish desires and our own uh, ambitions and doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and our main uh, sacrifice is going out into the highways and the byways and presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto the Most High. So being separate from the world and accepted in the eyes of the Most High, which is our reasonable duty. Okay, so the Most High is just asking... And, it is just asking us for our reasonable service, okay? I said duty, but our reasonable service, okay? It's the least we can do for all that Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah has, has done for us, okay? And be not conformed to this world. Conform is with form, okay? Pattern, shaping yourself or patterning yourself after the ways of the world. But be ye transformed, okay? So be ye changed, by the renewing of your mind. So be changed by the renewing, the restoring of your mind. So when your mind be, is restored or uh, made fresh through these faith in these scriptures, you're going to be transformed. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And if you transformed in your mind, okay, and you're exercised in that transformation, then you'll be able to prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Most High. All right. Let's see. This is First John chapter twelve and verse. Well, First John two and fifteen. This is First John chapter two and verse fifteen. Love not the world. So don't care for this world. Put off the weight of this world. Okay, we are dead to the world. Like what? What's that? Uh, I believe it's Romans, the sixth chapter. Okay, how we are dead to the world. Yahweh Shah's sacrifice was um, also an example of what we have to do. We have to sacrifice ourselves and be dead to this world and rise up a new creature in Yahweh Shah. Love not this world, okay? Neither the things that are in the world, neither the things that are in the world, okay? And people, when you have this mindset, look at you funny, okay? They look at you weird because you're not acting like them or doing the same things that they do. But neither the things that are in the world. If any man love this world, care for this world, got ambitions of this world, the main philosophy in this world is, okay, do what you want to do. Get the bag. Get the money. Okay, live the American dream and become great one day. Don't care for this world, okay? The love of... If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you are, have these selfish desires, the love of the Father is not in you. And what is the love of the Father? That we keep his commandments, okay? If you're in this world, you're not keeping, you don't love the Father, therefore you're not keeping the commandments of Yahweh For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, okay? People are just self-indulgent. Okay, the things that they want, the things that they lust after, that's what they go after. But the Most High tells us to put off, put off the lust of the flesh. Okay? That's why the scripture said, love not the world. Don't love your flesh. Because your flesh want to do wickedness. The, the lust of the flesh, that's why many men commit adultery. Okay, many men love to sleep with an, uh, another man's woman 
or desire to sleep with another man's woman or don't mind sleeping with another man's woman and vice versa okay women love sleeping with other men okay they love when they have a, a man okay they want to be in committed relationships but sleeping with all types of different men all right and calling men dogs and also the homosexual agenda this this is the ways of the so-called white man okay that he's put pushing on the world his energy don't follow the so-called white man the edomite okay it says the lust of the eyes okay things you see cars houses jewelry okay the pride of life and, and the pride of life the arrogancy okay the not being humbleness okay not submitting yourself to the heavenly father but doing thinking like i said that you can do what you want okay just like esau he believes he can do what he wants edomites they believe they can do what they want okay is not of the father but is of the world okay so like the scripture said what for seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses and mainly the cloud of witnesses are through the internet man you got a lot of brothers hanging out together and sisters hanging out together on videos and chats let us lay aside every weight so let's put aside these weights okay because as the prophets of the heavenly father we are examples okay we are the leaders okay we are the guides to the blind that the most high set up okay and it says in the sin which do, doth so easily beset us and you have wickedness all around us okay easily is so easily around us okay and let us run with patience the race that is set before us so let us run or and run and strive okay because in this race is like an obstacle course of the race of the heavenly father okay when and this truth is indeed a race okay you have the starting line and you have the finish line the starting and you have a reward after you finish okay that's why the scripture said he that endure it unto the end the same will be saved okay so if you start the race which you start the race when you have when the most high give you the faith of these scriptures okay and you start running okay and you have to go through dif different obstacles okay and adversities that's why the scripture is saying I, ask Acts 14 and 22, okay, confirming the souls of the disciples that through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so it said, let us run with patience, okay? So our mindset in this truth is when we run it, we're going to suffer things, okay? As our Lord Yahweh shall suffer. Let's see, uh, let's see, remind me of the scripture. I believe this will be a good scripture. It is my Yep. Uh that's not it. Uh, I believe it's let me go to it. bear with me this first Peter 4 and verse 1 it says for as much then as Hamashiach the, the anointed okay the Messiah had suffered for us in the flesh the house shall suffer for us in the flesh okay when he went through what he went through he wasn't only thinking about himself in, in the kingdom he was going to receive but he suffered for his brethren. Okay, we have to do the same. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. There you go. There we go. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Okay, the mind how wish I had to suffer for the will of the Heavenly Father. We have to suffer for he that had suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. So Yahweh I suffered from the flesh and ultimately he was raised. He was raised 
up to the right hand of the heavenly father and that's what's in store for us that joint being joint heirs okay let's see it says let us run with patience the race that is set before us so the most high has set up that race okay that that whole race is already set up we have to run okay with patience we have to strive in it on this race of the heavenly father with a mindset that we're going to suffer all right looking unto yahweh shy the author and finisher of our faith so we look okay unto yahweh shy the author the beginner and the finisher of our faith what did yahweh shy do he said he came to do the will of the heavenly father all right when yahweh shy was a young boy he was concerned about this wisdom all right of his heavenly father and pushing that wisdom to his to who was uh, called to receive it and the finisher of our faith so he he finished his course okay how was i finish his course all right who for the joy that was set before him so he finished it because he knew it was a reward that was set before him endured he was made hard through this different sufferings, he endured, said before him, endured, okay, he was made hard, endured the cross, okay, his burden, he endured his burden, okay, let's go to this word, endure, lock it, Boom, 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 boom. Endure. Yeah, it says to figuratively. Well, let me go up a little bit. It says, endure, take patiently. Patient. To remain, to tarry behind, to remain, I abide, not recede or flee. So, Yahweh Shah endured the cross. He, he, he remained under his burden and he didn't flee all right he didn't run away from it okay it says under misfortune and trials to hold fast to one's faith in yahweh shot to persevere under under misfortune and trials to hold fast to one's faith in yahweh shot hamashiach that's bad right there this is uh it says the same thing right here matthew 10 22 and ye shall be hated of men all men for my name's sake but he that endureth to the end shall be saved and that's the reward that's salvation all right eternal life that was promised unto us matthew 24 13 but he that shall endure unto the end okay endure in this truth okay abide in this truth and don't flee away don't get weak and flee away the same shall be saved the same is going to receive of those promises okay which no eye have seen and no ear have heard of the great things that yahweh bashim yahweh shah have prepared for them that believe okay this is second timothy 2 and 12 if we suffer we shall also reign with him if we deny him he also will deny us all right okay second timothy 2 and 10 therefore i endure all things for the elect's sake that's the brethren okay and the sisters the elect's sake all right so we don't only think of ourselves we're thinking about the whole body of yahweh shah that they may also obtain salvation, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah with eternal glory. All right, because we want to have that big family reunion in the kingdom, man, when we save, man. All right, we want to see our family make it too. Not our, not just our immediate family, okay, but our, our spiritual family, the brothers and the sisters that have believe in Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. I like going to this day's Greek lexicon, you know, have some good things in it. All right. 
it says the dative of circumstances or conditions was dative was that dative dative denoting a case of nouns or pronouns and words and grammatical agreement with them indicating an indirect object or recipient you know dative dative um case of giving giving okay okay the giving of circumstances yeah hey this is a good one right here romans 12 and 12 rejoice in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant immediately in prayer okay let's see um bear with me uh i got a couple more precepts and i'm gonna end off i just want to see what that uh romans 12 12 and instant okay instant in prayer let me make sure on that is it continue instant in prayer it says to continue all the time in a place so be to be constant okay to one Con constantly diligent okay so be constantly and diligently in prayer let's go back boom looking this uh hebrews 12 and 2 let me see if i had any precept over here Mm -hmm. That's Hebrews 10, 35, 36. That's good. Yep. And this is all. And this is, you know, mainly getting us ready. These, these scriptures and this wisdom and these lessons are getting us ready for the times that we're heading into. All right. Constantly enduring. Laying off the weight. Being focused on the brotherhood. All right. It's all building our faith up, all right, and our good rapport with the Heavenly Father so we can be saved in the times that we're coming into because the scriptures say if the last days, perilous times shall come, and we're fastly heading into those perilous times, man. Okay, we can see them right across around the corner, all right? So this is the time to get your mind right. All right, like they say, last call for alcohol. We did the last call. We in the end days of the end days. So this is Romans 13 and 11. It says that knowing the time, all right, we know the time. Or you know the prophecies. Okay, we know the things that surely come to pass. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. This is the time to awake out of sleep, all right? Whatever sleep state you in or whatever state of unawareness that you are in okay we bring this scripture out about our people but we be sleep on some stuff too like we be sleep unaware not paying attention okay for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe for the night is far spent the day is at hand this kingdom is about to be over man all right and yahweh shot kingdom is at hand okay and the wisdom of this kingdom is about to be over with, okay? And the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is here. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, okay? This kingdom along with its, um, its wicked wisdom. And let us put on the armor of light, these scriptures. 
Let us walk honestly as in a day, not in riding and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach and make no provision for the flesh. Don't make no room for the flesh to, for, to fulfill the lust thereof, man. All right, and that's a mouthful right there. So, let's see. This is Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, okay? Walking as he walked, okay? Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. That's what's in store for us, okay? That reward. Let's see. This is a uh, revelation. And this will be the last scripture, Revelation 2, and let's see. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. That's lucky. Let me pull the scripture up real quick. Revelation 2 and 25, but that which ye have, have, which we have this wisdom of Yahweh by Shimei and Rashad, the truth. But that which ye, ye have, Revelation 2 and 25, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. So be steadfast in this faith, okay? Hold on, okay? Because Yahweh Shah won't be long. And he that overcome it, okay, overcome it this world, overcome the, the wickedness that's in the world, and keep it my works unto the end. So keep the works, keep doing the work to the end. To him will I give power over the nations. And that's how my that that's that's the reward for enduring in the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Power over the nations. That was always promised to Israel. Okay? Being a part of that elite class, that elite body amongst the Israelites. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers, even as I received of my father. So, the eternal kingdom, okay, where we're going to have rulership and dominion, okay, over the nations, okay, under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So, let me read this Hebrews 12. One. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. All right, so Lord, one of the lesson is edifying unto the elect. With that, I want to say, call Allah Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakal Kadash, the water to the apostles, the water to the occupant on the four corners of the earth. Keep fighting, keep pushing. Shalom.